Rebecca's our world. We just want to do what's best for her. Dante said that her medical records need to be acquired. Once she's settled in, we'll get word to you on our progress. Please be in touch and let me know what I can do to help. Better be off. Any news on the game? Manners, Puck. Everybody, this is Rebecca. She'll be staying with us. Please welcome her into the fold like you were. We are here to welcome you, answer any questions, you know, before you get settled. This is Warner, Puck, Rose. Hi. Uh, just so you know, the bunk houses are much nicer than this. <laughs> I made this for you. <laughs> What's that? Oh, that's a signal jammer. Radar waves can't get in or out. This place ain't as secure as the bunkhouses, so we have to take the precaution. And I'm sick too, by the way. Not like you, well, <laughs> maybe I don't know what you have, but uh, that's why I'm here, too. Where's the bunkhouse? There's a network of tunnels that we use. It's a bit of a hike, so we'll go ahead and take this opportunity to rest. How many people are there? Seventy-three? Something like that. Yeah, that makes you lucky number seventy-four. Right. Well, it's, it's not lucky, it's just a number. A representation used for measuring stuff. Like the amount of goals one team has over the other. They lost, Puck. Yeah, didn't you know that? Of course they lost. Are you kidding me? My name isn't Rebecca. My name is Special Agent Arya Singer, and you're all about to participate in a raid. Okay, everybody out. Nobody's leaving. Yet. Yet. I know I can take down two of you at best before you rush me and rip this out of my hands, so I have a proposition for you. One we can all benefit from. I came in here for you two following you for days, studying your every move. Your accomplice, Samuel Dantas, was apprehended last week. Gave us up? No, we found intel. He said nothing. Officers are standing by outside this building. They were told to wait until I assess the situation and gave them the signal. And you can't talk to them right now. Your operation is much larger than we thought. But the reason I'm telling you all of this is because the second I walked in this room, the priority changed. I saw her. What do you want with Rose? Her name isn't Rose. It's Nora. Right? Nora Maddox, daughter of Governor Maddox, who up until now has been missing for nine months. If officers break down the doors and hurt her and make a mess, the press will be all over this. So what I need is a safe return. The rest of you are small potatoes by comparison. You can take your 72 other outlaws and move on. She goes back to where she belongs. You all go free. I'm the one who brought in Nora Maddox. If not, you will all be banished. If you try to run, you will be caught. We'll find the tunnel and even if you try to shut me up, if they don't see or hear from me in five minutes, they're coming in. So the clock is ticking. Please don't send me back. She's not even sick. I don't know what story she made up to get in here, but she's a runaway. Okay, you don't get to talk anymore. Talk to me. I had to save the baby. I got pregnant and my father threatened to send me to Convergence. He said that we had to be the example that we couldn't be responsible for bringing more life into this world. And what happened to the baby? I gave her to Miss Madeline. She can't have any babies. I'm sorry. Oh, shit, it's okay. It's okay. This girl isn't a runaway. Okay, she needed our help. And even though she's not an outlaw, her father made it pretty clear what would happen to her. So no, you don't get to have her. And by now the bunkhouse is cleared, so there's one less bargaining chip. Okay. What about the rest of you? 
Warner, you think you'll like solitary confinement? Nobody is going to Convergence. You're gonna pretend like you never saw this girl. The rest of them, they walk out of this room and you let them go. In exchange, Lawson and I will go quietly with you. That's unacceptable. Nobody was here. Your officers saw that you came in with the two of us and you're gonna exit with the two of us, single-handedly apprehended by you, which will be more than enough to get the press off your back. Plus, there's nobody left at the bunkhouses for you to uh, threaten. If anybody's gotta go, it'll be us. Let's do this. Tuttle and John Lawson, you are under arrest. Anything you say will be disregarded due to your recorded actions. 